My cancer journey started one day back in 2016. I could sort of tell by the young guy that was doing my test that something didn't quite seem right. The doctor got the results and rang me and I thought, well, if they're asking for my husband to come in, it was probably not going to be something really positive at that stage. We went in, had the biopsy, and it came back that I did in fact have cancer. We got in the car and drove to see the girls. Just needed them, so <laughs> that was good. You do have a, an inner quality that you just want to beat this. You don't want it to define you. I'm just so grateful to be alive. I live in the now, live in the now, and that's more important to me. When I was diagnosed, I just remember the whole world stopping, everything froze. Having a healthy body and mind is crucial. My whole family was extremely active. It's been the foundation of the happy life that I have today. You can be healthy, you can be the fittest person on the planet and still this insidious disease will attack you. I struggled with that quite a lot, knowing that something was growing inside of me and I felt so, so well. One of the darkest ever moment that I had was my little girl approaching me and saying, Mom, I don't want you to die. My family is my world. I had to be in a, in a good place. I had to be able to know what my body was capable of. And I think that's what, what having a good, fit, healthy, active life does. I think we just should all champion the idea of early breast screening. These scans can pick up cancer cells the size of a grain of rice and it will give you more options and arsenal for treatment plans. Early detection is probably why I had treatments available to me that some people just don't get. I actually love to help people get through a tough time. I am passionate about meditation, breath work and grief support. You do have this intuitive feeling about your own body um, I just felt that I needed to see the doctor and go further with it. When you hear cancer, you really go into a bit of shock. It's frightening, it's scary. For women today, listen to your body and be intuitive no matter what, because you just never know. Make the effort to book in. Have a scan and do it. It's really important to look after your body. It felt like such a natural fit to partner with Breast Screen Australia and talk to our extended community about the importance of breast screening. We know that one in seven women in Australia will experience breast cancer. And when we look around at a team of 140 women, that's a really frightening thing. Stand up if you or someone close to you has had breast cancer. Stay standing if you are eligible and have not been for a breast screen. So I am now feeling incredibly motivated and have a sense of responsibility to myself and to my team to book myself in and get myself screened. I was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer. We have a community with a lot of women and ultimately we have a responsibility to look after ourselves first if we're to be of service to anyone else. Booking yourself into a breast screen is just the ultimate act of self-care. I'm a little bit nervous, I guess, having my first screen, but at the same time, I feel very lucky to have the opportunity to be able to do this, that there is a program, and I guess it also feels like a bit of a rite of passage for all those women who have gone before me. Well, <laughs> I'm smiling. It was maybe a little bit different to what I expected. They obviously do this all day, every day. They make you feel very comfortable. Despite having this great program, over half of the women that are eligible are not participating. Please don't let that be you or anyone in your friends and family. I get breast screens every two years and I kind of decide how important they are. I encourage everybody to know their breasts, know your symptoms. If you are eligible, go and get screened. If you're not eligible, go and see your GP. Don't be shy and don't be scared. They're so friendly. They see so many different women, different breast sizes, different shapes. It's quick and really well organised. We're really, really lucky to be able to have this for free. It's really uh, good to hear other people's experiences and that it's not as scary as 
I thought it was. Breast Screen Australia offer women that are over 40 free mammograms and they invite women over 50 every two years to come and have a mammogram. We know that early detection saves lives and it's here and free and available.